Filipino people. I just pulled out my bike today. Plan to go for a short spin. Out a small makeover on my cast iron. I hope it will look beautiful. Nothing much done except my tank and removing some of the stubborn stain on my engine. It's always nice to ride the cast iron, especially when you hear the thumping of the exhaust. It's beautiful. Here in Kohima it's 9 degree temperature and it's quite cold. But a good, good, it's a good experience once in a while this kind of weather. I'll just remove the mud guard of my front tire. Just want to have a different kind of look. In fact, uh, that's why I always wanted to look like blood because of rain. That will flash on my face and my body, so I have to keep. And since now it's the winter, so I've taken it out again. It's a month of December and in Kohima the vibe is always different. You see a lot of Christmas lights. The atmosphere is always different here. In the time of Christmas and especially in the season so it's good I'm in a town now main town of Kohima and uh, what I what I plan to do is take a short ride towards Kishama that's the highway to in fall so that can be one of the best road uh, to ride especially when you want to test ride or spin your bike Some of my subscribers or viewers have been asking about the comparison to, with Meteor, the cast iron. Well, Meteor has new engine. As always, uh, I always appreciate an advancement of new technology and new features has been added with uh, new engineering mind. But nevertheless, cast iron has always been my favorite because of the thumping sound. Of course, the torque is awesome. And uh, very less vibration. In Meteor, you can uh, slightly experience the vibration to, uh, when you ride around 110, 120. material is a good engine 
is a new new engineering but it's not a comparison exactly but it's just a difference I love my car servant I hardly ride only sometimes in special occasions I love the especially the thumping surprising how did I miss the gear it shouldn't be so what I was saying was is what it wasn't really a confusion with material and uh, Cast iron, but uh, just the differences. But once uh, a person who have really tasted the raw road on cast iron would always uh, love it. As we said, all is gold. But to maintain it, uh, really, you need to have a passion on this bike. That's what I would say. So it's uh, a bike of his own kind. There are very few cars I don't ride here in the town now, but I'm one of them. And I love it more and more. It's evening, so the traffic is, it's never, never like this before, only now. Thank you. We have to really appreciate our traffic police because they work hard. Of course, everyone work hard, but especially they have to work uh, extra time, extra days, so that we can all enjoy the good traffic. Seems like the market changing here. It's nice, it's a good development. It's good. So my viewers have asked me if I would like to tour on my Cast Iron. Yes, I have done my short tour some places and I love to go but uh, you know I'm not a very technical guy. Um, I love to customize myself, paint myself, fix the outer of the body. But uh, I'm not very good hands with the engine, so uh, I'm a, I'm not very positive on taking the bike long distance until unless I have someone who knows the who knows the engine well. So that's the reason why I don't take much of uh, my car to run on a long distance ride, uh, except. Uh, there's maybe one or two hour distance 
in my home but definitely i love to i would love to take this bike if anyone who who is riding cars and would go with me and also he would know more than me on the engine sorry It's so nice. Thank you. We don't have the luxury of roads, so we all have to wait patiently for one another. And it's the month of December. It's the time of giving to each other here in this town everyone would be giving to the dear and near one some kind of things so it's a good culture it's a beautiful culture i always appreciate that here this would be lacking in many other places I'm still in the town it's been quite difficult for me to get out oh accident crazy does it happen when you have a rush riding bad in pack we don't know what is the reason but uh, well, a few of the reasons that have accident here is because of rush riding and also overtaking. So these are the main reasons. Of course, it can be sometimes drunkenness. And, uh, sad. I want to say thank you to my viewers the last video of my trip to Woka has been to and highly watch it's one of the most watched channel watch yes watch uh, video so I, I want to say thank you I'm almost reaching to 4,000 hours watch uh, watch hour so if you would kindly watch more then to, uh, or share my videos to someone of your known people I would hit uh, probably 4,000 hours before Christmas if you be kind enough So welcome to Li Re. The, this is the junction where we can really pull our bike towards uh, Infall Road. This is the Infall Road. We used to have a very good road. Just because it's a drum brake, you know, you may not have very much confidence on riding fast. But I enjoy it.
even the experts make accident right so the last uh, future we have on the bike the more careful we become so i think i'm on the right track of choosing a bike This bike when I got it was uh, more likely on a scrap it took many months for me to get it fixed oh, oh someone has splashed the water so it took many months for me to fix this bike was in a very bad condition I went to Shillong to get the parts wiring was the most difficult one so got to dim up many times slept overnight in hotels just to fix this bike made my hand dirty and energy was exhausted and uh, it have uh, given a good fruit though after some hard labors I can enjoy my beautiful engine now I was almost on the peak of selling off but I said no I'll keep it I love it and I'm loving it more I think I would need to do something more on the body engine is completely fine my front spark is leaking so I think that is one thing which my next next update need to be done This is one road that we enjoy because this skin has been quite uh, well maintained uh, because uh, it's been some years I guess it's not been fixed some of the potholes but this is one of the roads that I would always come when it's right Don't underestimate the power of cast iron. There's a smoothness on the engine. So smooth, smooth, smooth. I haven't really changed my tire sprocket yet. But I'm going to do it soon. somehow I couldn't really manage my time well, good <laughs> the first flash of the water on my body and my helmet <laughs> that's the reason why I don't like to open I'm not supposed to wet the wet, uh, road. That's fine. Nice town. This is a smooth throttle. I don't know if, if you can feel it.
Lord Smoot. This is the sound that vibrates my heart. Beautiful. So you can see my bike this is what I have done a small changes of course you have seen I have changed it I've changed the seat and repainted my tank which didn't really come well and uh, because there was so much of uh, marks and heat on this tank so I put a putty in and painted but uh, really do very well but uh, just took out the mud guard. Just uh, I don't know. I just feel like looks more better with open mud guard. And uh, this this what uh, some of the few some minor changes I have done. Of course, I have been planning to cut off this uh, back uh, back uh, mud guard and maybe change the tire in the smaller section. And put it more a little bit more lower change uh, maybe change the uh, change the swing arm I'm not sure I'm this is just a thought of mine so customize a little bit I haven't uh, really done much here also you can see some of the colors are coming out so I hope you enjoyed the ride it's been uh, it was a, a short distance ride that I took from my home and uh, i really love this baby it's an awesome engine 2002 model cast iron 4s so if you love the video would you kindly subscribe my channel and uh, if you like it give a thumbs up if you don't like we can put thumbs down too and i appreciate for at least watching thank you